1986 a day in a limousine apologies we're outside today it's a lovely day but it's too long for our photo booth it's the first time we've had a car that's too long for the photo booth it's the 4.2 litre petrol Daimler this one on your automatic gearbox in white body weight wise I'm going to start off the bonnet work our way around onto the interior and then we're going to fire it into life the bonnet itself the grill's all nice and straight there's various little bits of surface rust to start there's a few chips on the bonnet itself but apart from that it's all nice and straight across the bonnet apart from these little chips on that front edge there which you can't see underneath the scale, scuttle you'll see we've got a bit of paint right there and a bit of corrosion starting with some paint chips and some cracking in the paint across the front edge there and some crazing and some corrosion around that air vent there on the front down the wing top again there's a few little bits of ginger coming through a few little stone chips which you can't see here so we're commanding good money these days these big daimlers only for headlights no heavy corrosion but one or two stone chips and a few bits of surface rust but no heavy corrosion front bumpers in good order with some pitting to the overriders the rest of the grill is all nice and straight across the front end there all the fins are good onto the right hand side and again nice and tidy underneath the headlights one or two little stone chips and a little bit of engraved dirt but that's all you can really whinge about on the headlight side of things there and a few little bits just starting on the front edge of that wing on the right hand side it's got the coat sign striped down the whole side here as well the black coat sign your chrome hub caps seem to be in good order a little bit light pitting but that's all with uh, the chrome uh, the painted steels beneath it bit of a scuff edge there polish suit on the wing few stone chips on the lower half and again a little bit of bubbling starting across the bottom of the door there down the right hand side and you have a little bit on the sill door itself all nice and straight so there's the wing massive doors on this one again one or two little paint cracks across the top half there onto the uh, driver's rear door a few little bits of paint cracking a few bits of stone chipping as you come down the body line onto the rear corner you've got the same thing going on again which you can't see there around the yard we've got some corrosion on the lower half of the court in the sill section there and the bottom half of the arch which you can see that's right hand side there the roof itself again we've got some paint flake and some crazing in the middle of the roof which you can't see there on the camera and a few little bits of osmosis where the heads have come off those as well but very straight for such a big car there's no waviness there's no uh, like sort of filler lines down the side all lovely and straight all the way down the right hand side apart from those areas of corrosion which I have pointed out again around the fuel filler cap a few stains there a few bits flaking off as you come down the rear quarter on the body lines there back bumper one or two bits of pitting but overall seems to be nice and straight across the back end with some pitting again to the overriders rear lights are nice and clear booting it itself all nice and straight but again a bit of few stone chips bit of osmosis here and there across the paint it does want a good polish the cracking and some corrosion underneath the rear window on the left to right right to left again a heavier scratch by the left hand side fuel tank as we come down the rear bumper onto the quarter again a bump, bit of bubbling underneath the paint a bit of a crack in the paint there as you come down the yard there a few little bits of paint flake across the lower half again a little bit of corrosion there a little bit of corrosion starting on the bottom of the door onto the front door again a bit more corrosion coming across that front passenger door there and again up the top one or two bits of rust coming through across the top there which you can't see there onto the front wing again a bit starting on the arch but nice and level down that left hand side apart from the corrosion coming through onto the interior now nice interior on this one nice and tidy on the door card there the wood seems to be all okay all nice and shiny the seats themselves grey front seats there nice and soft a little bit of wear across the bolster they're not gonna split when you sit on them apologies for the background noise there nice and tidy on the steering wheel and again across the dashboard one or two little bits of light delamination but no heavy flake all the dials are nice and clear headlining's good in the front there nice big seats across the front let us see a little bit of wear across the top there up the center console again all nice and straight and presentable across the center console Onto the rear, right hand side again. Door cards are lovely and tidy. Cloth in the rear, like they normally are on this little carpet sets good. Rear seats are in really good condition, no rips or tears. You've got your own partition for the windows there as well, which is nice on both sides. Lovely big bench rear seat there. Glass partition, one in the back's lovely all the way across. You've got your fold down seats on both sides again, all nice and tidy, no rips or tears. Doesn't smell damp in here 
It's a little bit of moisture, a little bit of smell of moisture, but not bad at all. Seats are in fantastic condition. Again, carpet set's good. All ready to be used, that one, on the interior side of things. Into the boot. Some spare parts, and there's a little bit of water in there as well. Has been standing a little bit, this one. Spare wheels there. On to the left-hand side here. Again, lovely and tidy on the door card. The wood's all good. No delamination to the wood. Carpet set's good. Fold down seat again is unmarked on both sides. They've never been used in their life. And you can see the rear seat normally quite heavily worn. That's not the case of this one. Not had a hard life in there as a limbo, this one. On to the left-hand side front again. Door card nice and tidy. Bit of a split in the seat. It hasn't ripped. It's just the stitching's come away, so that's quite fixable. And again, a bit of wear to the lower half of the swab there on the front. But apart from that, all nice and tidy. Into the engine bay now. All nice and tidy in the engine bay. It has got a dodgy start inhibitor. So at the start, this George is going to turn the key. I'll give that a little push. Go on, George. It fires straight up. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Go on. Fire straight up. On choke there. over nice and happy so it does want that uh, tightening up we're having a look at and there you have it the big 1985 Daimler limousine there in cream gorgeous interior and a nice smooth engine on that one there